Right now, we are testing our brand new Q50Rs from Quasar. They are rainbow RGBX lights, meaning they can do pretty much any color on the spectrum. Plus they have crossfade tungsten to daylight LEDs separate from the RGB ones. So you get pure daylight or tungsten light or colored uh, without mixing. So you don't get the kind of dilution of saturation in the light. So my opinion, well, I think why everybody watches these videos is to get uh, an opinion real quick and not deal with lots of specs. So they are really bright. The colors are really awesome. So the presets are, are super punchy. You get a really nice color rendition. They're very saturated. The lights themselves are really light, easy to use, just like every other QLED. There's a reason they're so popular. The updated power cable is really awesome. It's locking, it's like the industry standard, so you won't run into any of the issues I know that I had with the old ones where they, you know, the power connectors would pop off. You go to move a stand or something, which just was super irritating. The little control panel that's built into the lights, are re it's really awesome. Pretty easy to navigate. It's only three buttons, so it's kind of hard to mess up. You just kind of scroll through. You can pick presets. You can change the intensity or the temperature balance on the lights. Something that, you know, otherwise on some other lights like the Astera, you have to use an app or a DMX controller to do all that stuff. So some things I don't like about the lights so far. Uh, some of the presets that are built in don't seem to function totally right as of yet, which I mean might be remedied with a software update later on. They do send these lights with uh, a USB update cable, so you will be able to update the firmware on the lights later. But out of the box right now, the first ones when we turn it on, some of the presets like the rainbow preset, which you probably won't use all that often, uh, it does flicker a little bit. Again, not a huge deal. I don't know how often I'll even use that preset, but it's there. One of my gripes with the software is that if you're using a color preset like magenta or cyan and you jump and want to go straight to uh, the manual CT presets, you when you go to say set it to 2000 or you know 2600 Kelvin, the light doesn't change to tungsten from cyan. It'll stay, stay cyan until you set it to a CT preset. It's a minor thing, it takes you a couple extra seconds to do. Um, and I don't know if that's just user error on my part, but it seems like when you switch over to CT values, it should just automatically switch to tungsten instead of staying uh, RGB. Rigging these is, it's a toss up. It can be really easy. Like sometimes you just throw them up on, you know, on an arm and it's, it's super simple. But the fact that it doesn't have a lot of rigging options, doesn't have any holes to screw in a baby pin, like some of the other lights, like the Astera, um, it makes it a little bit more of a challenge. You have to have the grip gear that complements this. So on that note, the Asteras themselves, they are cheaper. They have a little bit more options color wise because they are pixel tubes. So you can control them. Uh, individually. I think there's 16 pixels in each light so you can animate across the light with different colors and stuff. That's something you cannot do with these lights. They are just one color. They can fade between colors but you can't control half the light. But the trade-off is you have a lot more output. They are very bright. So yeah, that's my review. Uh, this is a recommendation to buy the lights if you have a use for them, uh, if you think you need RGB lighting, the option. Otherwise, the standard crossfade quasars are still pretty awesome if you just want a daylight or tungsten solution. These lights are awesome if you want that RGB functionality or you need it, um, or you just you know, really want to experiment with color. They would also work really well for stills, um, constant lights. So if you do a lot of creative portrait photography or something, they'd probably be pretty cool for that too. Um, so yeah, that's it.